Actually, this play caught me off guard. Because okay. initially, I just wanted to block it. Mm -hmm. But something in my body was just like, I just grabbed it. All right, man. Appreciate you coming on the show. So sure, good. I grew up in Miami, so I'm a big Miami Heat fan. So this one's going to be a lot of fun for me because I've been watching you over the last three years. Now, one of the big moments defensively for you was when you were guarding Steph your rookie year. And it kind of showed how versatile you were as a defender, right? A little bit. Because not many centers can do this, though. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been guarding guards my whole life, so mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it felt like a... Uh, I was out there again, but it's just, yeah. it's Steph and Curry. So, you know, it was a different moment for me. Now, are there some nerves there? You're like, oh, okay, now Steph's, I'm guarding Steph. I don't want to get crossed. I don't want him to fly, drive by me. Like, is there any worry? Are you, you're just always a confident guy? Yeah, I'm confident, but yeah. you can hear everybody on the Warrior team telling them to go at me. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, because yeah. it's like, uh, it's like, it, it, it's a it's a pride thing. Yeah. And you, you, nobody wants to get scored on, so you know I didn't take it lightly. Yeah. Now you have another block against the Bucks, where you just grabbed it. <laughs> Not many players can do this. I think Whiteside's done it a couple of times. Javale McGee's done it a couple of times. <laughs> How are you able to do it? Uh, it actually this play caught me off guard. Okay. Because initially I just wanted to block it. Mm-hmm. But something in my body was just like. I just grabbed it. Yeah. So it, uh, I thought it was going to be a goal 10. So, but when you're going up, when do you decide, you know what, let me try to just grab it instead of blocking out of bounds? Uh, at that point, <laughs> as soon as it touches your hand, I feel mm -hmm. like you, uh, it's one of those things where you don't swat it, you just put your hand up and it just kind of falls in your hand. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I was like, I'm going to just, just grab it out the air. Yeah. Now, your timing has been great on blocks. Like, the, the another amazing block you had against the Bucks was... <laughs> Like, just walk me through this one, because the timing is perfect. That is all, that was basically all I had left in that game. Yeah. And that was, uh, that was one of those those moments that in our organization you live for. You yeah. live for those type of moments where you can make an impactful play. And, you know, I felt felt like I could make an impactful play, so. But how are you You're just staying ready? Because no one expects a kind of a fast break opportunity to happen off a missed free throw. And then you have the speed as a center to catch up with Eric Bledsoe. Like, is that just, you kind of have these instincts or you're just very athletic? Like, how are you able to pull that off? That is just will. Yeah. That was willpower yeah. in that play because like you said, it, it was an overtime game. You know, everybody's mm -hmm. legs is tired. Mm -hmm. So that was just a will play and I have nothing else after that. Okay, now your lobs. You've been catching a lot of lobs in Miami. How, how, what's your vertical? Because you really get up on a lot of these. Uh, I think my vertical is a 40. I think it's 40? A 40. I think it's almost a 40. Would you ever do a dunk contest? Ooh. 40 is high. I don't know, man. And we post these a lot. We post these a lot and we're just like, look how high Bam got. And know. you have to admit, it is impressive. Yeah. You, like when you watch these highlights back, do you ever get impressed by yourself? Yeah, it catches me <laughs> off guard. But uh, that was that was my role. Mm -hmm. That was my role as a, as a rookie. Yeah, you know, rim run and play defense. Now, a special dunk you had was in transition against the Warriors. I feel like you should just walk me through this one. Like, what were you seeing? Because you end up dunking over KD. I did not think KD would have jumped. Me neither. That's what I thought. I didn't. My initial thought was like he was gonna let me have two points, mm -hmm. but uh, he jumped. So my, I just had to make the dunk. Yeah. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't the matter of it was KD or not. It was just yeah. the fact that I, I wanted to make the dunk. And then you, you see the see my my teammate. Would you rather block somebody or would you rather dunk on somebody? It depends on on the flow of the game. Okay. Like, if we need a big play, mm -hmm. I would rather dunk on somebody. Okay. But normally you would say block. Yeah. But if, if, it's a, if you need something, you want to go dunk. Yeah, I would okay. rather dunk on somebody. Now, this one's one of my favorite games because right after was the D-Wade game winner. <laughs> what was it? When you saw this, what was your... Because I said to D-Wade, I was like, listen, when you got blocked the first time, I said, game over. Yeah. And he said... He got blocked twice and hit the shot. What was your reaction when you were watching it all kind of unfold? That was one of his, that topped off his whole legacy yeah. moment. And I feel like that was his second chance to get on the table. <laughs> so uh, 
That that moment for him was special. It was mm -hmm. special for us as uh as as, as young fellas in the yeah. league and uh, you know just to, just to see a guy's career the way it was and see how the fans really loved him and mm -hmm. how he made that shot yeah. for an uh, important game for us. And, you know, it's, it's an incredible experience for him. Now, what have you learned from Dwayne over the last few years? Oh, patience. Yeah. I feel like that's the number one thing I learned from d -Way was, you know, just be patient. And mm -hmm. he's always, and he keeps saying it to me. And he, mm -hmm. now, it, now it's went from patience to, to achieving goals and, and, mm -hmm. and higher standards for myself. Well, it worked, because now you're an all-star. And... <laughs> This was your this is your live reaction of finding out you're in the All Star game. Yeah, that reaction was subtle, but <laughs> in my head, my it, it was turning. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was just special to be there with my mom and just just spend that spend that time with her, and it was just a real special moment between the two of us. How do you take that next step as a player? Like, what happened in year three that not maybe didn't happen in year one or year two? But what did you improve on over the last couple of years to kind of get to this point? of being an all-star now. I really got the opportunity. Yeah. You know, I feel like I got the opportunity. I got the minutes and I got mm -hmm. to really show who I was. And, and Coach Spo did a great job of allowing me to make mistakes and yeah. play through my mistakes. Now, you carry a photo of the mobile home you grew up in. Do you use it as motivation? Is that why you carry it around with you everywhere you go? Yeah, it'll always be motivation because, yeah. like I said before, I've, I basically came from nothing. And yeah. just to be in this position now, is. It's real. It's a real blessing to me, and you know that without that trailer, I don't feel like I would be here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have the same ambition, the same passion, the same drive. Yeah, and it's important you to kind of include your mom and in all your big accomplishments, right? So, when watching this video, I kind of your mom's so happy for you too. <laughs> Everyone in the room is so happy for yeah. you. I just, it's kind of perfect. Um, but it was, it was really special to watch. Yeah. Last couple highlights. <laughs> What are you seeing? You just did you just go up? You're like I'm just gonna go up and try to dunk on everybody. No, I was trying to dunk that. I was trying to dunk that. We, we was having, uh, like I said, it's a it's a momentum play. We was having mm -hmm. staggering offense and try to dunk in. You know my past teammate. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What have you improved on as a player the last couple of years? Is um, there anything that you've gotten really like a, a lot better at? I feel like the game slowed down for me a lot. Okay. You know I feel like that's a big part of growing in the NBA. The game really slows down for you. So. You know, it slowed down a lot to me in game three, but mm -hmm. in D-Wade games year 16, yeah. it probably looked like slow motion to him. So yeah. it's just, uh, as with age, I feel like the game starts slowing down more and more for you. And I feel like that's the biggest, biggest step for me. Mm -hmm. Now the last highlight we have is the dunk on Gobert. <laughs> Was, is this the one where, you know what, you'd rather prefer to dunk on the person than block that person? I feel like going against somebody taller than you, you would rather do either. Yeah. I don't think it's a particular thing you'd rather do, but uh, you know, I'd rather do either. It's, like I said, it's not the particular person, but yeah. it was a momentum swing for us. Yeah. Now, were you planning once you got the ball, like I'm gonna go to the rack? Yeah, I was planning that as soon as I caught it. I was like, yeah. if I catch it, I'm going to the cup. But uh, yeah, and this, this situation happened. Okay. Now, last question I have for you. I'm going to read this. It says, Jimmy Butler has a bet with Bam Adebayo to help Not improve his question. range. For every game that Adebayo attempts a three, he wins $500 from Butler. If, he, if not, he owes Jimmy $500. Is this true? No. It's not true at all. Not true at all. Then how, why did people, where did this come because from? Because Jimmy said it. <laughs> so it, well, I guess whatever Jimmy says, yeah. like, that's what goes now. But no, that, that is not real. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do this again because I'm sure there's a lot of theories out there and we're going to have to find the truth by sitting down with you. So it was a sure. pleasure and we're going to do this again, all right? Sure, appreciate Thank it. Thank you, man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.